Hello, it's Philip again, and we're going to talk about um, how to read survey lath, and it's just going to be kind of a basic lesson. So let's say you're on the job, you need to find uh, some 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 curb stakes, and you come across a lath with a bunch of junk written on it. You see a nail in front of it with some um, same color flagging, or you find a hub or something. Um, and you don't know what it what it's for. You don't know which way to go. Um, this is um, this is your lucky day, I guess. So what we do is we set a nail or a hub or a, an X on the ground, whatever we need to to mark um, to mark an offset of something that's going to be built. Okay. So normally, let's let's talk about curb. Let's say there's going to be some curb built, curb and gutter. Normally, so that people can put the forms and everything, um, we don't ever set actuals for, 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 for stuff like this. So we'll go on an offset. Common offset is a three foot, so let's pretend that's our nail, be a three foot offset to curb face, meaning from this nail, you go out three feet and you'll hit the face of the curb. And so if you have a lath here and your nail here, the lath is facing the nail, it means the three foot offset goes, or the offset goes in that direction. So all the information on this nail or hub or X, whatever it is, it's going to be written on this lath. This this, this point is going to be elevated and located in reference to something that's going to be built. So all the information, again, on this nail, let's say, is going to be on this lath. And come over here. And normally, and I'm talking about California, um, it's, where, it's where I'm from, where we survey. On the top of the lath is normally going to be a number. So again, this is our curb example. Commonly, we do use a three foot offset, but it, it doesn't matter what this number is right now. Just know that the top number on the face of the lath has to do with the offset, how far away it is from the object that's going to be built. So if it was a wall and the people asked for, a, for an eight foot offset to the, to the face of wall, then there you go, we'll put an eight foot offset. Could be wall, could be water, you know, it all depends on who's out there and, and what and what everyone's doing. So um so the top number is the offset. The line is just separating, it's 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 just given direction. So eight foot off water, it could be curb face, it could be um flow line, whatever it is, the the offset is to the item below the line. Then, still on the front of the lath, normally um, you're going to find you're going to find a cut or a fill for the grade. And again, everything is based on that nail. So, if it says fill of uh, zero five zero to uh, top of curb. That means from that nail that's in the ground, you would go up half a foot, and that would be the grade out three feet. Remember, well, three feet off curb face to get you to the curb face, and then fill of five tenths gets you to the top of curb. So think about it like this. Let's say this is the profile of your curb and gutter. Okay, this is your front of the curb, the gutter, the lip. The offset is to the curb face. The grade is to the top of curb. So that way people can set their forms. And again, you're going to find this stuff for vaults, walls, you know, it may not be T, it's not going to be TC, it's going to be footing, what have you. So again, top number is the offset to whatever you're staking, and then there's normally a, a, a grade to what's being built. 
on the back of the lath, and it could be anywhere. It's usually above the ribbon, could be below, but we normally put an elevation. Um, so let's say it's 1906. That elevation is in reference to sea level. So um, it could be 200, 219 feet, 0 0.06 above sea level. Most of the time, uh, surveyors just, just write down the tens of feet. We don't normally write down hundreds of feet, um, but some um, there's still some people that do. We don't unless uh, somebody needs a benchmark or you know needs the, um, the the exact number. But for grading purposes and these are just temporary points, we just normally just do tens of feet. But anyhow, um, there's usually an elevation. If there's a grade, there's an elevation. So there's an elevation of that nail which gives us the cut or the fill to that structure. On the back also, you may see something that looks like this, and that's just uh, stationing. Stationing is just the w uh, a way that we describe uh, linear feet. So it, it, so it can, all this means is uh, 100. So it's 100 feet um, in, that, in that line. Let's say there's uh, 700 feet of a uh, curb, this is just the 100 foot marker. Sometimes there's grade breaks and um, different transitions that are marked on the plans and we'll use their stationing. You know, it might, it might look like so, something like uh, two plus 28, 43 grade break. And that just means on the plans in that linear line, that's um, 228.43 feet, there's a grade break. So we write down all this stuff to let everyone know where they're at in line and what that um, and what's happening on that on that structure. Also, it helps to know what a stationing is because if lath get knocked down or um, you know there's two nails that are real close to each other and the lath are knocked down and you know which way the line is going, you know which which lath belongs to what nail or, or hub. But um, it's not uncommon for, um, for, for people to put other descriptors. So if there's a grade break, you can put it on the, on the back. You can put it on the front. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. But on the front, you always have the offset, what it's offset to. Your cut and fill are always on the front. And uh, the descriptors are, could be in the front or in the back. Um, elevation is normally always on the back. And... Um, Again, um, stationing, I don't know, 50% of the time is on the front, 50% of the time is on the back. The reason for two-foot lath or three-foot lath or four-foot lath um, is, 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 is kind of just preference of the, of the surveyor. Um, normally, if it's stuff that's going to be staked and then built really quick, like curb and gutter, and there's a lot of stakes, we'll use what's uh, cheapest, and there's not a lot of information we need to throw on those stakes, so two-foot lath are fine. Other structures um, that maybe there's a lot of information, wall stakes, and there's footings and things, um, we'll use a four-foot lath, or if there's weeds and stuff, we use four-foot lath so you can see them. But that's pretty much the anatomy of a, of a, um, of a survey lath, and then we'll go out and um, check one out as a sample. Okay, here's my little sample. Here's a, here's a curb stake. So again, the stake, or the lath, is facing our nail, um, which tells me that the offset's coming this way. There's a piece of curb here, so um, to kind of just show you, you know, after it was built, what it would look like. But before it's built, this is what the um, the forum guys have to look at. So we got a three foot offset to curb face. So if you pull three feet out, you'd hit the face of the curb. And on this one, we said it's a cut of a tenth to the top of curb. So from here, if you went down one tenth, three feet out, that'd be the grade of the, of the top of curb. On the back, we just threw an elevation on 90-16. Again, it's uh, based on sea level. It may be 190, it may be 290, it may be 1,090. Um, we just put tens of feet. There's uh, some fake stationing. so. One, one plus zero, zero just means it's it's 100 feet from the point of the beginning on a linear line. And I put down BC as a descriptor, as a beginner curve, but um, there's no curve here, it's just uh, just a sample.
So again, we've got an elevation, we've got some stationing, we've got a description of the structure, the offset, what it's offset it to, and a grade, and what it's graded to. They kind of give you a perspective, so that's what you're looking at. You got a, a lath facing a nail, and then out three feet would be the curb face and graded to that top of curb. So if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to shoot me an email and um, try to get an answer for you. Thanks a lot.